Hello friends, welcome to today's video. If I look familiar, it is because I just finished filming my what I eat in a day following the My WW Personal Points plan while also getting HelloFresh. Uh, I will link that somewhere up here if you haven't watched that and you're interested, and I will also put it down below. But this is an entirely different type of video. This is my indulge myself and get a present for myself once per month video, and that is my May Ipsy unbagging. Uh, I didn't do one of these last month. I did get my Ipsy, but it was just a crazy month. Didn't have really much time for filming, but I just picked this up in the mail today, and since I was planning on sitting down and filming anyway, it's a great time to get to open this with you. As usual, I have the memory of a goldfish and have no idea what the product was that I chose in here, uh, but I'm excited about it. Let's see what we have. Um, I say this little spiel at the beginning of all of these Ipsy videos. Ipsy is a subscription bag that you can get uh, every month here in Canada. It ends up costing around $20 with the shipping and taxes and exchange rate and everything included. It varies a little bit based on the exchange rate. You do get five sample size products in here and generally you can choose one of them and then the other ones will be a surprise or you can just tell them to surprise you. But I like to choose something in there that I know I'm going to like. I generally like things like face masks, uh, lip balms and glosses. I like hair products. I like moisturizing lotions. The only thing that I'm a little iffy about is if it's something like a serum or something that we really need to be used long term on your face to really see any difference, you know, a sample size product you're going to get one or two uses out of. Um, so anyway, let's see what I got this month. It feels like a pretty full bag. So let's see. Ooh, there's something outside the bag. Okay, this is the bag. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's very plasticky feeling, and I don't know, this just feels like retirement home wallpaper to me, uh, just not my favorite pattern. But that's okay, it's not about the bag, it's about what's in the bag. Uh, and I've mentioned this before, I've tried before to find a way to tell them not to send me the bag, just throw the products into the mailer. I've still not been able to find that option. I'm totally happy to keep paying the same amount and just not have the waste of the bag that I'm not going to use. Let's take a look at the theme for this month. The theme is Wild Beauty, which I guess is where the flowers on the bag tie in. This month, delight in all the things that make you feel alive. A fresh mani, botanical skincare, going barefoot in the grass, and let your imagination run wild. Uh, and then it gives you a little QR code to scan for this month's theme. And it's so weird. Sometimes Ipsy does give you these little product information things, and sometimes they don't. So I'm not gonna look at that until after. But it looks like I got a couple of masks, which I love getting. So these are both from the same brand. It's called the Creme Shop. Uh, and it's called Fusion Sheet Mask. The benefits of two masks in one. They're made in Korea. So I'll just show you. Hopefully it's focusing. Uh, this is the first one. It is a combination of turmeric and matcha. So the turmeric is supposed to be antioxidant rich and youth promoting and the matcha is rejuvenating and anti-inflammatory. And then the other one here is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So the vitamin C brightens skin and aids in cell regeneration, and the hyaluronic acid hydrates skin and reduces the visibility of fine lines. I feel like this one is quite up my alley. I like being moisturized. I am in my early 40s, so I do try to minimize fine lines and aging. So yeah, I'm excited about these. I really like getting this kind of product in my bag. So let's check out what else there is, because I know those weren't what I chose. So let's see. Uh, there's some kind of little tubey thing. Let's check this first. Okay, this is, it looks like a lip product. It is from a brand called Pop, and it's called Permanent Pout. There we go. So that's interesting. If it's like a glossy product, I think I'll really like that. If it's like very um, opaque, that's kind of not been my jam lately, but let's open it up and find out. Okay, so it's a little tiny doe foot. There's like no scent to it. Ooh, and that is very much an opaque lip product. I'm gonna guess that uh, if it's called Permanent Pout, it's probably like a dry down, long-lasting lip product. 
As I said, not really been my jam so much lately, but I'll take a look at the description of it and see what it's supposed to be like uh, just after I see everything else in my bag. So we have a couple of little tubes. Let's see what this one is. This is from a brand called LCB, Lovecraft Beauty, and it's an eyeshadow primer. So I'll see if I can get this to focus in a way where you can see it. So that's interesting. I'm going to open this up and we're going to see if it's an eyeshadow primer that is like opaque or something that is like tacky, uh, what kind of eyeshadow primer it is. I've been mostly using like my MAC paint pot forever. It's getting pretty dried out at this point. So let's see what this is. Okay, it's a little squeezy tube. Okay, so it looks like it is opaque. This might be the kind of eyeshadow primer I like because I like the kind that sort of blocks out any like lines or veins or anything. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Hmm, it sort of blended out into nothing. I was expecting that to have like a little bit more coverage for some reason. It almost makes it feel like a sort of powdery feeling, so not super tacky either. So interesting, I'm gonna play around with it and see if I like it. Okay, that's three products down. Oh, this is a huge squeezy bottle. Yeah, what's this? Okay, it's called Basic Skin. Oh, and it's a shower scrub. Okay, I like this kind of thing. Uh, I really love exfoliating scrubs in the shower. So, ooh, I'm excited about this one. I'm gonna open it up again because this one I want to smell what it smells like. Whoever decided to make this white writing on light pink bottle, like, there is no way I can read the back of this. So I'm gonna do it on my other hand. There's also a pulley tab on there, but that's okay. A little bit of it was coming out. It's a pink color. So that is what it looks like. Oh, it's a very fine scrub, which is nice. Like it's not super concentrated or it's not like the big salt rub kind of thing. And it just has a very, very nice fresh smell. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna use that in the shower today. I'm very excited about that one. And finally, it's another small squeezy tube. I think this is the one that I chose. So this is a mascara sample. It's Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Um, I'll try to show you this here. One of my favorite mascaras was also a Wander Beauty one. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It came in a gold tube and it was like bomb proof. It gave nice light fluttery lashes, but you could like, it happens every once in a while, like fall asleep in that uh, mascara or like, I don't know, have your eyes water and it would not smudge or flake or run or anything. So I chose this as one of my products because I wanted to see if this was as bomb proof as the other Wander Beauty mascara was. So I would say overall, I am most excited about this, the scrub and these masks. I would say I am somewhat excited about the eyeshadow primer and the lip product. I mean, it's kind of dried down now not quite dried down, but I'm just not a dry down lip product kind of gal lately. Uh, so I might see if my nieces might be into that, although it's a very dark shade and we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But the other ones I'm super excited about. So let's take a look at the little pamphlet and see what it says about the products. The first product they talk about on here is that Pop Beauty Permanent Pout in Racy Rose. Uh, and it says that it won't feather or budge until you go in with some waterproof makeup remover. If you are somebody who likes um, dry down, full coverage, doesn't budge kind of lipstick, it does say the full size of this product is $8. So it is a more budget conscious, uh, long lasting liquid lipstick, perhaps than some other brands. Uh, also in the budget category, the Creme Shop Fusion, Fusion Sheet Mask Duo, uh, the full size, I mean, these are the full size. So if you want to get one of these normally, it's $6, which is pretty uh, well-priced for a sheet mask. The Lovecraft Beauty Eyeshadow Primer Mini, uh, that one says that it's a lightweight primer that grips whatever, whatever pigments you blend on top for a long-lasting crease-free color that looks fresh and vibrant from the minute you put it on to the minute you take it off. Uh, the full size of this product is $18. Uh, which, I mean, it's not super budget, but it's also not crazy expensive. 
The Basic Skin Shower Scrub. It says, get ready for the smooth, silky skin of your dreams. This exfoliator uses is tiny buffing beads to whisk away dulled dead skin through and rough patches on your body, plus hydrating aloe vera to replenish skin's moisture level. What I will say is I feel like we've heard more and more about micro beads being a microplastic that ends up in sort of our oceans and water sources. I know a lot of people are staying away from scrubs that have microbeads in it for that reason and doing things like scrubs with salt and sugar because it fully dissolves and it doesn't have environmental impact. So um, I don't know that this would be a product I would recommend because I feel like it might have a bad environmental impact. I haven't done any research into that, but from what I understand about microbeads and scrubbing beads, not great overall. Uh, the final product, which is the one that I chose, was the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Uh, it's in the shade Tarmac, so it says it's a glossy black. Um, it's infused with Trehalose, a moisturizing sugar and licorice root extract to keep lashes conditioned and clump free. Never heard of either of those in a mascara. Uh, it says the fine tooth comb and staggered bristles separate lashes to pack on the volume. That sounds awesome. So for that, the full size product is $26, which I kind of expect for Wander Beauty. It is more of that like Sephora level kind of pricing of product, but I really do enjoy a lot of the Wander Beauty products that I've tried. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. So that is it for today and for my Ipsy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel very much so. What helps it out even more is to subscribe if you've not subscribed. On my channel, I do a little bit of beauty content, a little bit of skincare content. Uh, lately, I've been doing a little bit more lifestyle content, things about like what I eat in a day or um, different kinds of like exercise challenges or stuff on my Peloton. Um, and if you like that kind of content, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you want to watch something else from me, I will pop a couple of videos up here. Uh, if you haven't watched this one from years ago, I think it's still the best performing, highest viewed video on my channel. It is me doing a half face long term test of Pixie Beauty's Glow Tonic. I will pop that God, it's been so long since I've done end screens. I'll pop it somewhere on the screen here. And I will also put in another one. I think people have really enjoyed my Elemis um, moisturizer long-term test. So I'll pop that up as well. Somewhere on the screen, you will also see my face, which you can click on to easily subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.